Hey guys, it's Alex and welcome to another video. Um, in today's video, I want to show you guys sort of something to do with Greg Tech. It's basically getting started with Greg Tech because recently in 1.6, I started playing with Greg Tech and I had a couple of problems. I didn't know how to get started. Mainly one of my problems was, um, if I show you guys here, was the generator. Because I'm used to basically first making a generator to get started. That was not right. I was on a testing world like 10 seconds ago. Um, okay. The generator needs either stainless steel or steel. I thought you could use a regular machine block. I was wrong. So then I started looking into how the hell do you make steel. And the way that I normally know how to make it is, once I can figure it out, is a blast furnace. Well, what? Because <laughs> if you take a look, the blast furnace is, you need, again, stainless steel or steel. So how the hell does that logic work? Period. So I didn't understand at all. I started looking on the wiki. I couldn't find anything to sort of really get started. Just a couple of sort of updated videos of how to do things, and it wasn't really helpful. So what I'm going to show you guys in this video is just kind of how to get started. And yeah. Okay. So when you first start playing with Greg Tech, you're going to notice that your wooden and stone tools are nerfed quite a bit in terms of, I think, wood has 10 uses and stone has 50 or something like that. They're a lot weaker. So what you're going to want to do is really, once you get the chance, make flint tools. Flint is the equivalent as of regular stone, so it will last a lot longer. I am playing with uh, Tinker's Construct, if you're wondering. And I have automated it, which is pretty awesome, actually. Just using regular hopper and then, say, um, programmable redneck control, which I can turn on and off, by the way. But yeah, pretty sick. Okay. Now, first thing you want to do is create yourself this little thing. The small coal boiler. Boiler. So, small coal boiler is basically like this. Bronze plates, again, you need a metal form or plate bending machine, but that's kind of a pain in the ass. So, what you can do is you can just use any hammer, and a hammer is just that with a stick. So, it's pretty easy. Um, the, the hammer is honestly, the tools you're going to be using the most are iron files, um, hammers, and crowbars. These are kind of the main things you're getting with. The... Uh, files that, again, plates, same with the hammer, and then wrench is just regular iron. Uh, crowbar, by the way, one thing that I kept finding very annoying is if I can actually get one and quickly make a plate. Uh, if I have any, I do. Beautiful, perfect. Okay. Uh, is if you go like this, what I do all the time, it actually pisses me off, right click it, what it does is basically it changes the texture of it. Pretty nice, but how do you get it off? If you right-click with a wrench, well, yeah, don't right-click with a wrench. <laughs> it'll actually destroy the block. I'm not going to show that. Um, but if you right-click with a crowbar, it'll take it off. So don't worry about that. Very useful. Okay. So really to get started is you're going to want to create the small coal boiler and then pump it out using an engine or something. Uh, I'm using just regular pipes. Greg Tech does add its own pipes to um, pipe it out. The one that most that you probably get started with would be the bronze fluid pipe, which is like this. It is kind of an expensive recipe, so I personally prefer Buildcraft. Then again, I'm using it. If you're not, then have fun. Um, then the next one I made is a steam furnace, which is built like this. Which right away now you need an iron machine hull or a bronze machine hull. Um, the iron machine hull is... Actually, wait a second. Can you not? I'm pretty sure you could. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so you can't create an iron machine hole. Aluminum, bronze. Okay, come on, where is it? There. Machine block. This is sort of what you're going to start to use, is the basic machine casing, which is, again, just iron around a wrench. Um, yeah. So once you make that, next I made was the forge hammer. So instead of always having to put two or with the hammer to make a plate, you can just put two ingots in here, and it will do it for you, but you need steam. So basically saves you durability, that's about it. Then there's the steam smelter, this is like the alloy smelter, very helpful. And then the other ones that you can make are, is, um, here you go. So next you can make also a um, compressor, extractor, and then the blast furnace. This is really what you need to get started. It is basically like that, and as you can see it takes a very long time. It's like a regular blast furnace, kind of a pain. It's four coal plus one uh, ingot gives you one steel so eh, have fun with that um, so the way you make this is you need nine of these underneath this 
So let me just open it up. So you have nine, then you have the blast furnace, and then seven around it. Spit air in the middle. Air, air. Uh, I'm not sure if you need lava. I couldn't tell, so I just put lava in there anyway. So put lava in, just right behind that to get it to work. Um, and then pretty much just build it like this. So I uh, want air, 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 and then just a full nine by nine. So the blast furnace is made like this. It's actually a pretty cheap recipe, but the hard part is this. This becomes very expensive very quickly in terms of... Let me see if I can find it. There you go. So as you can see in the alloy smelter, you can double it. But if you don't use an alloy smelter and you just make it regularly, you can make it uh, copper, 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 and one tin. So three copper and one tin gives you one bronze. That's extremely expensive. Even with doubling it, it's still like ridiculously expensive. So to get to this, like I've been playing now, how many hours? Uh, let me check. Let me check stats. Fantastic. Times play. Uh, world's created tonight. Game quits. Times played. I play, I've loaded the game 73 times. So that right away. Minutes played. I played 93. That's hours because that's in days. So, so I've almost played like close to a day. So yeah, it, it's been a long time, and I, that's all I'm at. So once you have the steel, then you can start to make a generator and sort of get started with like EU and that kind of stuff. Because then you can make generator, make this. Battery is a insulated tin cable. Tin casing is that. Um, just regular, basically put it in again. Tin cable is now that. Or an assembly machine, any rubber, that. And tin cable is a wire cutter. And again, tin plate. Um, with the new metal former, though, you can make this all just inside a metal former. So metal former is useful. However, again, you can't make a metal former until... Oh, wait, what the hell? You can't... Okay. So you can make a metal former now. Just you don't have EU to power it, but you need a generator or something to power again. So, problem. Um, that's pretty much how you really get started with Greg Tech. Um, I had a lot of problems with this myself. That's kind of why I made the video. Also, you notice behind these steam and these steam things, this exhaust. It's an exhaust. So when this is working, once it's done, it'll puff out some smoke. So you want to make sure you always leave a gap, not just close to a wall, otherwise it could like explode and problems. Um, I'm just trying to think what else there is. Also, nickel to make stainless steel only spawns in, um, what's it called? In, um, nickel only spawns in extreme hills biomes. So it's, it also is rare. Not that rare, but it's kind of rare. I actually haven't found one myself yet. And yeah, I know they're rare because even before they only spawned in extreme hills. This is back in 1.4. They were, I was playing with uh, thermal, so I had ferrous ore. Such a problem with ferrous. Like, it, it, you found just a ferrous here and there. And that was before it, spawn, it spawned just in extreme hills. Now it spawns only in extreme. Have fun. So it, it's... Put it this way. Greg Tech is more if you have nothing better to do with your life and you just want to play. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, so, yeah. Let me just quickly show you guys... Uh, so as you guys can see, I've got two stacks of steel. The reason why I have so much, honestly, is because I found so many dungeons and things. Like, so much stuff I've found. That, I like, yeah. Like, I can actually do quite a bit now. I can get quite far ahead because of the amount of steel I have. But that's only because I found stuff. Like, if you'd be doing this without finding nothing, oh god. You'd be here for years. And I'm not even joking when I say that. Again, Iridium haven't actually found any ore. I just found it in dungeons, so whatever. Whatevs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys need any help with Greg Tech in terms of if there's any problems you guys are running into, you don't know where to find an ore or anything, just message me in the comments. And yeah, so I'll see you guys all in another video.